So oftentimes podcasters want to change from one podcast host to another, but they don't do it because they're concerned about losing all of the stats and the precious download numbers that they've already worked so hard to achieve. And I'm excited to announce that my personal host Buzzsprout has remedied that issue as you can now transfer over old download numbers when transferring your show to Buzzsprout. And this feature has been requested for so long because these download numbers are so precious and everybody works so hard to achieve them. So you don't wanna start from scratch when switching over to a new host. So this is huge for anybody running a show, especially when you're communicating with advertisers or when you're trying to get guests on the show, having these numbers is very, very important. So Buzzsprout provides a little more information about the feature on their website. You can now import stats when moving to Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout allows you to add downloads to imported podcast episodes. While we can't capture all the detail behind every download, the example of that would be date, listening app, etc. You can add the total number of downloads you had on each episode before moving to Buzzsprout. This allows you to keep track of your total episode downloads and overall podcast downloads when moving to Buzzsprout from another podcast hosting provider. So you're not gonna lose all of the downloads you've worked so hard to achieve. One important note about the imported download numbers is since the download numbers are manually entered, Buzzsprout cannot certify them as IAB V2 compliant. So that IAB V2 is basically a certifying system that ensures that the download numbers are accurate and sourced from the right places. Since these are manually entered, they can't guarantee the numbers that you put in manually. So that's one thing to keep in mind, a very minor detail, but something I wanted to mention. So now that you know a bit more about the feature, let's walk through how you can actually do this for yourself. So once you've redirected your show to Buzzsprout, so now you're hosting on Buzzsprout, this is the back end that you will see. This is your main page. And all we have to do to manually change the numbers is go over to stats and then scroll down to the bottom here and you'll see this prompt right here. All Buzzsprout statistics comply with IAB podcast measurement technical guidelines 2.0. You can manually add downloads. So this is what we're gonna click right here. And now this allows you to alter the previous downloads for any of the episodes that you have ported over from your previous host. So go through your stats on your previous host, either write down the specific numbers for each episode or download all this information and then come into the back end of Buzzsprout and you can go through and add the appropriate number for each episode so that you don't lose the stats that you have that were captured in the previous host. You'll be able to do this for all of your ported episodes. So for example, if we wanna change my episode with Eric Dunn, I could just go in here, change it to say I had 150 downloads, and then all I have to do would be save stats, and then that would now contribute to the running number that's captured from Buzzsprout moving forward. So that way we're not losing any of these numbers. So just go through all of these and change the numbers to the appropriate download totals, then click save stats and you're good to go. And that's how simple it now is to import your previous stats from your old podcast host into Buzzsprout. So if that was the reason you weren't making the switch, Buzzsprout has now provided an answer for that. And if you were wanting to switch over to Buzzsprout, couldn't recommend them enough. They are the sponsor of today's video and I'm also an affiliate for them. So if you're looking to make the switch, be sure to use the link in the description box and the pinned comment. If you sign up for a paid plan, you'll get yourself a $20 Amazon gift card just for using that link. And if you're looking for some more information on Buzzsprout or maybe some more guidance to help you grow your podcast, be sure to click one of these videos that are about to pop up. Now